Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cook Stacy Cook. Today, I want to show you my fail-proof way of making restaurant-quality beef chow fan at home. In this episode, we will go over important details and techniques throughout the video that give you perfect beef chow fan every time. So try to watch the whole video. Let's get started. Let's start by preparing the mung bean sprout. In the United States, we usually get them in bags. We need to make sure they are fresh. The bean sprout should be plump and firm, white to off-white in color. Don't buy those that look yellow, soft, and soggy. The bean sprout won't be cooked much, so we need to wash them thoroughly and let them drain. High-end Cantonese restaurants will remove both ends of the bean sprout for more appealing presentation. At home, it's up to you whether you want to do this. We also need half of an onion cut into strips and some green onion. Cut the stem part of the green onion in half lengthwise so it cooks and releases its flavor quickly. Now the flat rice noodle. We must buy freshly made rice noodle, preferably those that are made on the same day. This is key to your success. Buy the noodle the day you are making beef chow fun. Don't put that in the fridge. Fresh rice noodle has great elasticity. Look for ones that are soft and bouncy like this when pressed. Prepare the rice noodle by peeling them apart so they cook fast and evenly during stir frying. Now the beef. You can use almost any cut of beef for this recipe. We will cut the beef into slices. Pay attention to the direction of the muscle fiber in the beef. We need to cut across the muscle fiber, otherwise the beef will be tough and chewy. Place the beef slice in a bowl and season it with regular soy sauce to give it saltiness. Then we add some dark soy sauce. We use dark soy sauce here for its color. If you don't have dark soy sauce, you can leave it out. Next, we add some oyster sauce for some extra savory taste. Some baking soda to tenderize the beef. Remember we said we can use almost any cut of beef because we use a little baking soda we don't have to use expensive cut of meat. Some cornstarch to help seal in the juice of the beef. And some sugar to balance out the saltiness. Mix everything well. The last step for the beef is to add a bit of oil. The oil prevents the beef from sticking together. You can finish by adding a touch of sesame oil. This is completely optional. The stir frying of beef chow fan is done quickly over high heat. So it's important we prepare and ready everything we need before we start cooking. The final part of the preparation is the sauce. Again, we use some regular soy sauce and some dark soy sauce. Here we use the dark soy sauce for its color and saltiness. If you don't have dark soy sauce, you can add a bit more regular soy sauce here to compensate for the saltiness. Lastly, we add some sugar to balance the saltiness. Finally, we are ready to cook. I know the preparation for this dish took a while, but it's the attention to the details in the preparation that would make or break this dish. The cooking part is pretty straightforward. Now let's heat up the pan. Turn the stove to high and add some oil. I'm using a non-stick pan today. I recommend you do the same at home. Not everyone has a wok, and it takes some skill to stir fry rice noodle in a traditional wok. You can feel if the pan is hot by placing your hand over the pan. It doesn't have to be sizzling hot now. Add the beef and spread them out. 
Let the beef pan fry until the bottom has a good sear. Then add the onion and the green onion stems, and stir frying everything until the beef is medium cooked. Then transfer everything out of the pan. They will continue to cook in the bowl, so don't overcook the beef in the pan. Add a bit more oil to the pan and add the rice noodle. Don't stir them now. Let them pan fry a bit so that the heat can bring out the aroma of the rice noodle. If you need to cook a large plate of beef chow fat, I recommend you divide it and cook in smaller batches. You will get better looking and better tasting result that way. I use two spatulas to toss the rice noodle. I find this better than using a pair of tongs when it comes to keeping the rice noodle whole. If you are good at tossing a pan, definitely put your skill to work here. After the rice noodle is hot, we can add the sauce. I like to add one third of the sauce at a time, and I can add the remaining sauce to the rice noodle that looks lighter in color. I get a better looking, evenly colored chow fan this way. It's just like painting. Now we put the beef and the onions back to the pan. Give them a few toss to mix everything. And add the mung bean sprout. The rest of the green onion. And some black pepper. A few more toss, and it's done. We want to preserve the crispiness of the bean sprout to contrast with the soft rice noodle. All right, it's all done and ready to serve. It smells so good, and I can't wait to eat it. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.